Now, the results of the LPT election has become the main topic dominating the political arena. Let's take a look at some of the views expressed in this regard. The UMP failed to secure even one seat from this zone. This was the first step in the race to the presidential election. Seeing our victory, those in the government must have got cold feet. This is not rocket science for anyone who knows politics and numbers. LPTA is not a country. However, we are happy that they take pleasure by thinking so. If they are of the stance that they have won, we are happy about that as well, because we know the true picture. This is the first wave of the tsunami. The much larger one can be witnessed on the 16th of November. Our victory can be witnessed by everyone on the 16th. Well, to be honest, the LPTA election is irrelevant to us. If the Colombo Municipal Council elections were held and we won, this will not have any impact on the presidential election. The presidential election is something completely different, with completely different candidates contesting the election. Based on data received so far, Sajid Premadasa is in the lead with approximately 53 or 54 percent. With the success of the LPTA elections, we have prepared the battlefield for Gotabe Rajapaksa and the SLPP to win the upcoming presidential election. Those who are not aware of the latest developments in the political arena try to put forward various interpretations in this regard. Such individuals are either unaware as to how their leaders comprehend this matter or they just don't know politics.